This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and I should start with an apology. As many of you know, I love going back to one of Need for Speed's most infamous tweets talking about an upcoming series of post-launch updates revolving around uh, social play features and new content and features and all sorts of things. And I had always said, yeah, right. There's a January update and it didn't add anything. Well, it turns out that January update wasn't a post-launch update in their mind. It was a patch. And this is Need for Speed Unbound Volume 2. And oh man, did they fix a lot of things. Starting out with now cops added to multiplayer, finally. On top of that, we've also added, no, they've also added three new cars, two of which have technically been in the game, but now are just available for everybody. But a new mystery luxury car, which is just a Maybach. They show it in their loading screens and everything. From there, of course, your uh, traditional additional customization options, as well as, you know, some new driving effects, some updated performance parts, driver emotes or more driver poses. Um, and yeah, keys to the map DLC, which if you guys didn't know, there's a website to do that anyway. So save yourself the five bucks. Cool new change is that in the middle of any playlist, you can just change a car if you've got multiple of them. So if there's a more, if there's a faster track that is more launch straight, so you can just set up a car that has low down force and has higher top speeds. But then the next course might be a more tight technical course. You can add more down force or just have another car that's more set up for that kind of stuff. So I'm very happy to see all these little tiny quality of life updates. Uh, have been added and I'm hoping that when we get into the shop that that stupid little invite notification is no longer going to be there but the thing that I'm most excited about is that even though the steam charts player count doesn't show that nope doesn't show that this game has really added many new players or players returning uh, for the new update it just seems that the that the multiplayer scene is just a lot more alive it feels like because a lot of the times when i was playing even months ago that we'd have struggles with getting multiple people in a lobby and you would just sit there and you would just wait and you would just wait and you would wait turns out i was just inviting everybody to a b-tier race and i was in a 488 pizza so i kind of get what i deserve but now when i it turned on this playlist i invited all sorts of people to this s plus playlist and like i got five people immediately so i am super happy to see that people are starting to come back to the game especially with the addition of cops that was really well needed but as kind of a, a little bit of an aside it just shows that with this post launch update how much criterion was really struggling when they were making this game I honestly feel like that this, they made this game in an incredibly short turnaround time considering that everybody was working on the Battlefield 2042, which was a flop. And these are patches and things that we needed for at launch. So I'm not going to be too critical, but at the same time, too, it's like, come on, this is... This needed to happen a long time ago, and we had to wait four freaking months for it. So disregarding my driving as I'm absolutely all over the place and whatnot, uh, I just wanted to draw a little bit of attention to some of the patch notes. It is pages of information, and I am astounded for it, or I am just incredibly happy. A lot of it is all like just simple quality of life fixes where there's some graphical bugs or you know, there are some issues with car customization. There are issues with, like, traffic randomly spawning in the places that it wasn't supposed to be. That was a big one. Uh, and, yeah, it's just, again, really nice to see that this isn't... This most likely, knock on wood, is not going to go the way that Need for Speed Heat did, where they had one major post-launch update in, like, May 
after like maybe maybe monthly patches and this one patch kind of did what this did where it added a few cars and the keys to the map dlc and then that was kind of like their sunsetting of the game they just said well goodbye we'll see you in the next one and then covid happened well covid already did happen in that point but i digress so yeah with as far as the patch notes go i could go through the entire list but i mean i'll just probably link in the description like the just the detail in the patch notes because it is extensive and I don't think anybody would want an entire video of me added new car customizations to the Ferrari 488. Fixed issues regarding the Ferrari 488. Most boring video in the world. I don't need to read off all that. And we are off and running and somebody is either going to play the last the first race or is AFK. But either way, we're in third place out of four, originally five people, but that's all right. I forgot how much I actually did enjoy this game. I really do like the graphical elements of the game. And yeah, the handling I probably need to work on with, with my car in particular because, well, oh, how did I not die? Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, the handling I still, this car like does not corner at all, but it's all right for top speed. So maybe I just need to stop handbrake turning or whatever and make it more of a drift build i don't know i can't remember it's been too long we appear to be catching one of our fellow online players sorry sorry just honking him up oh he's honking his horn too <laughs> yeah so hopefully we're not going to see any of these random cars spawning in our path in weird places trying to turn over the medians or whatnot because yeah that was I don't... Oh, <laughs> that same spot always gets me. <laughs> I think it gets everybody. That same spot. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, so already this game is looking a lot more polished. But, like I said, took four months to get there, but we got there. So, I'm, I'm just hoping that EA finally starts... It just seems like a lot of EA games in the past have really struggled with the idea that the industry as a whole is... I feel like gamers nowadays are actually getting more value for the money than they used to because games previously had to just be perfect at launch and then, like, you'd spend $60 back when to get a game. And yeah, we've now got post-launch updates and that's that kind of stuff. But the whole idea of having games as a service games as a live service is actually pretty neat and you know think of like forza horizon 4 and forza horizon 5 where they're updated weekly with like new content and new playlists and that kind of stuff um ah, that bridge didn't kill me but more or less my case is i feel like ea games have really struggled with that concept where you know it takes a lot of developers to keep people onto these games, but you can probably keep a handful of developers on adding new daily challenges and stuff like that, which Unbound finally added, which I'm actually pretty happy about. But while they're doing that, you can have the rest of your development team be working on the next one, and you can keep this game you know, being updated and up updated and updated. For weeks to keep people interested in your game and then boom when the new game drops you move those developers over to start doing the daily updates or weekly updates for the new game i mean in that way you can continue to keep to keep people interested in the game and you can keep people telling their friends about it and it's like hey you should try the daily playlists and that kind of stuff so it's a lot of additional expenses, I'll admit, but I don't know. It just seems like doing the whole games as a service thing for EA would be really beneficial to them to be able to make games as cool as this live on for a lot longer than it probably will. Third place, third place, 31 grand. Oh, these bank rewards are amazing.